is KTV News 1 7 at 5 30. Omaha firefighters have again demonstrated their ability to keep the public safe, but now on a global scale. They recently competed in a fire simulation challenge by using training and a series of challenges meant to simulate a fire situation. And they proved they are one of the top five teams in the world. KETV News Watch 7's Adrian Whitsett has the story. That's me coming out of the tower against my guy going to the Kaiser. For Nate Rhoda, captain of Team 385 local Omaha Fire, this is when the competition really starts. Say when you get to the bottom of the stairs, everything before the stairs is technique, everything after the stairs is heart. Rhoda and the other four members of the team spent last week under the Las Vegas lights in the Scott Firefighter Combat Challenge, competing against teams from all over the U.S., Canada, New Zealand, and Germany. They then take the top 18 teams and they qualify under the lights on Friday night and that's we were fifth out of all of them. To be that close to actually getting a medal out in Vegas was I mean it was still rewarding but just makes us want to drive even harder for next year and we're coming back with a medal next year. Two other Omaha teams made it to Las Vegas as well. Tony Scheffler is part of the women's team. We have to do the same job so they don't change the course for us. Um, it stays the same as it is for the other the guys. So. And while there's fewer women firefighters in Omaha, they're just as tough. I don't know how she does it. If you told me at the end of the course there was a 300 pound dummy, I wouldn't do this competition. For Omaha's firefighters, the combat challenge helps keep them in shape and stresses real life situations like this high rise fire last month. It wasn't long ago that we had the fire that was on the 10th floor. The elevators weren't accessible to the firefighters and so they carried their gear and they walked up 10 flights of stairs. But some of the stresses of competition, like national television and sprinting in full gear, are still easier than the real thing. The tower we run up here isn't on fire and that, that makes it a lot better, but... Uh, With more complete coverage, Adrian Whitsett, KETV Newswatch 7.